You are watching WPTV, award-winning college television. Welcome back to the desk. We've got less than a week for the start of softball season here at William Patterson. And here to preview it, we have Andrew Balistrieri, Daniel Karp, and Michael Milligan. As the Pioneers had a pretty solid season last year, making the NJAC playoffs, but they definitely want more this season. Michael, what improvements can the Pioneers make in order to make an NJAC run? Honestly, I think they got to boost up their OPS. they got to maintain a high OPS. Last year, they were around the 730 range for OPS, which is not bad, but you wanted to boost that a little bit higher to compete with the other rivals. Um, again, this will just result in more runs and opportunities just to win the game. I mean, just keeping up a high OPS throughout the season is just really key, honestly, for any good uh, team for softball and baseball, at least. Yeah, get on base and hit the ball hard. That's, really, <laughs> that, that, that's baseball. That's it. That's Andrew? Fun. Uh, I got to go, you know, they got to score with runners in scoring position. You know, it felt like last year there was a lot of instances where the leadoff runner uh, would get on first or even second, and then they just get left there, and they, you know, nothing would come from it. And, uh, you know, they, they, they struggled in general to score a lot at times last season. And, you know, they're really they're going to need to be hot. Uh, the bats are going to have to be hot in order to you know, make a run in the end, Jack, in general. And you saw a lot of really great pitching efforts last year, and it felt like those were wasted sometimes just due to the fact of not being able to score. So they need to, you know, get a lot better at that this year. Absolutely. Daniel? I'm going to say another dominant pitching season. I mean, I'm not saying you have to replicate exactly what they did last year. Hunt a 173 team ERA when every, for the girls who pitched 25 plus innings. But you got, you got Lila Guthy who's still going to be there. She's going to be at the start of that rotation. And you got Jalen Miracle who's not going to be here anymore. But there are going to be some, a lot of girls stepping up in that starting rotation. You want to see them get a, have a good enough pitching squad. Absolutely. I mean, pitching is a big part. It's kind of what we're known for as a school, both in baseball and softball, some really good pitching staffs that have, you know, come and gone. But, you know, moving on, there's a lot of seniors who are looking to make a big impact on the team this season. Andrew, we'll start with you. What senior do you think will make the biggest impact? I got to go with Haley Weinberger. I mean, Wheezy uh, has been phenomenal here at William Patterson as we take a look at her stats. You know, throughout her entire career here at Willie P, she's batted in their 78 games played. She's batted 296 with an on base percentage of 363 and a really solid field per feeling percentage of almost 940. Um, and, you know, Wheezy, she really did it all last year. She played uh, multiple spots, and she's now going to have to become a really big leader on this team. Uh, you know, she really brings it all. She brings the energy. She, uh, you know, plays great defense. She's constantly screaming in the dugout, on the field, you know, telling people what their assignments are, where you got to be, where the play is, and everything like that. And, um, you know, this, this is a solid senior class, and, uh, you know, if you have a couple of returning graduate students, they can, uh, you know, they can definitely put something special out there on the on Pioneer Field. Yeah, you mentioned, I was going to say, you know, Weinberg already has, you know, proved herself as one of the leaders on this team, so now she really gets the, the chance to showcase that. But we'll move on to you, Michael Milligan. Who is your senior that you think is going to stand out this season? I got to go with Gianna Mulatto. Let me tell you right now, she's, kind of, she's like a dual threat player, in my opinion. Like, she had a 1.47 ERA as a pitcher last year, 14 strikeouts, and kept batters at a .246 of an, a batting average. I mean, that's just good as well. And she also, yeah, it's just every single thing she does, she's been doing great. She also has a, two point, a .294 average as well batting and also 19 RBIs as well in this season. And look, she she had three wins all last year and 27 strikeouts total. So look, she she's she's cooking. She she she's gonna do a lot. Trust me. It's a Willie P. Shohei. <laughs> Willie P. Shohei, maybe, maybe. But Daniel, we'll move on to you. Who do you think? What senior do you think is gonna? Let's talk at? about the senior Grace Gaskell, who's probably gonna be splitting some time with Gianna Mulatto at first base. Now Grace is gonna be expecting a bigger role, more like her sophomore year, as we're gonna take a look at her stats in her career. She's played. 73 games with an average just above the Mendoza line at 202, an OBP almost at 314 walks. So she's going to get on base, but she can also hit for contact and she can also hit for power. So whatever the coach needs her to do, she could do it. And I think she's going to slide perfectly in the middle of the order. You know, I'm looking forward to see her get a role where she could produce and help this team win. Yeah, and one senior not mentioned by any of you guys, but Michaela Grusio, she's also going to be making a big impact as she looks to become, you know, one of the leaders on this team as well. But we'll move on. And, you know, we asked this question with the baseball team when we previewed their season, but it's just as important for the softball team. And it's what end jack matchup do we think is the most important for the Pioneers to win this season? And Daniel Carp, we'll start with you. I'm going with the Montclair Redhawks. I mean, I, obviously, rivalry. All sports. Mm -hmm. No, they lose Alyssa Barazon. I hope I said that right. She hit over 500 last year, and you know they also beat them both. They beat them both times last year. Montclair lost a lot of stars, like kind of like how we lost a lot of our stars for our baseball team. But you know, I'm looking forward to them. I think they're playing at they're playing at Montclair this year, so I'm looking forward to them getting a clean sweep in that doubleheader. 
Yeah, it's, it's always fun to play Montclair in any sport. You know, the Route 46 rivalry, as we so often refer to it as. Uh, you know, I'm always looking forward to seeing us go head to head against them. But Michael Milligan, on to you. What NJAC matchup do you think the Pioneers need to win? Honestly, I think it's got to be Rowan. Rowan was the top dog last year. I mean, they went 42 and 10 last year, and they were 17 and 1 in the conference of the NJAC. Like that's impressive. I don't even know how you even do that. And just a big rival. And it's just this is a chance for William Patterson to go out there and prove themselves, and they can they can they can stick up there with the big people up top. You know, they 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 got to prove themselves in, by taking out the biggest person, the biggest threat to them. Yeah, you know, it's happened before. Uh, William Patterson can beat Rowan. They've proven it. I mean, that pitching staff sure could contribute to that as well as the hitting. So looking forward to seeing that as well. Valley closes out for this one. What NJEC matchup do you think is the most important? Got to go with the Kane Cougars. We were 0-3 against them last season. Uh, they knocked us out of the playoffs as well. And the Pioneers, they really want some revenge. You know, uh, they took that 5-2 loss in the playoffs, a 3-1 and a 1-0 loss um, at Kane earlier in the season. And obviously they can contend with them. You know, pitching was great. I absolutely think they can beat them. Um, you know, and Kane also, they lost some key players that were, had really great games against the Pioneers last season. Uh, we saw Lila Guthy had have two really great performances against Kane. And now that, you know, she's going to be in a bigger role with the Pioneers, they, they, I think they can get it done and beat them. Absolutely. I agree 100%. But before they get to those NJAC matchups, we've got a matchup against Drew next Thursday, opening up their season with a doubleheader. Daniel Karp. Take us through how these two teams are looking after last season. Yeah, so Pioneer is going to go at Drew Madison, New Jersey. You got the Pioneers hitting a mid 280s. Uh, Rangers above 300, which is great. 730 OPS for both squads. Seven, actually, Drew was at a 784 OPS. And Team ERA, you got the Pioneers at 175, like we mentioned. Drew 259, very good. And then Team Earned Runs, which is interesting. Pioneers have 61 to, oh, errors, I'm sorry. Pioneers 61 errors to the Rangers 51, so Rangers clearly more uh, solid in the field. But, you know, both teams rely on their hitting. Both teams have very similar strengths, so, you know, it's going to be a good matchup, good test for these Pioneers going into going into it, into the season. Yeah, and we saw at the bottom there all time, William Patterson 24-2 and two and two. against Drew in softball. But Michael Milligan, what are we thinking about this game? Honestly, I think it's going to be one of those, like, you know, yes, the history has shown 24-2, and two, but I think it's still going to be a slugfest. I think both teams are going to come out the gate firing, and I think at this point it's going to be who puts the ball, more balls in play than the other, than the other team because that's just going to give more scoring opportunities, and that's just what I see there out of this two. Absolutely. Andrew? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was obviously two great wins over Drew last season, and, you know, we saw in those games, you know, Caitlin Monaghan with the homer. Uh, we also saw Kylie Bythrow, Grace Gaskill, Gianna Mulatto. They all have double, doubles in the second game, so, you know, uh, fault the Pioneers, the sweep. Um, but, you know, the bats, they got to be swinging in those games. You know, pitching is going to have to be hot. You know, obviously, this is the first two games of the season. They might come out a little sluggish, and that's something you have to expect. You know, you're going to see a couple of errors, obviously. You're going to see, you know, people swinging at pitches that they don't love. Uh, that's just, you know, the nature of the game. It's early in the season, but I think the Pioneers can get it done for sure. Absolutely. That'll do it for WP Softball, but we're closing out this episode of Sports Desk with the MLB. Coming up next on Sports Desk.